Akko here, welcome back to Regrowth. I am just, I've just made a couple more of these Hadrangers. Rangers. As you can see, I made a little ugly thing here for a little temporary thing to get a bit of mana. I made a couple more of these, they're pretty straightforward. If you look in there, they're again, they're just petals, there's no runes or anything. There's a wolf nearby. A couple of the petals are mana petals, all they are normal petals chucked into your into your mana pool, and that makes them into mana petals. So I've got two more Hadrangers Rangers there. Hydro Rangers. And these are all in range of the thing. So our wand we made last time, one thing you can do with a wand is you can mouse over a flower. And if you get a box around the mana spreader, then that means the flower is feeding mana to that mana spreader. And then that mana spreader, of course, is feeding it to the mana pool, which is very nice. So we're getting some mana in there from these Hydro Rangers. What these need is uh, water. These are eating these water blocks. And as you can see, because it's an eternal water source, they're getting filled up from that. So I've got a nice little bit of starter mana production. Where's that wolf? It's nearby. Must be. It's over there. Look. You noisy wolf. Shut up. So loads of things to do. Loads of things to do. So I've done one thing in the quests to uh, help myself move on a little bit. And it's regarding agri-craft. Uh, what, what was happening? I was starting to get loads of seeds. I didn't want any here. Uh, I've started analysing my seeds. I've moved my analyzer. This is the thing I've made. I've made this thing called a compost bin. And uh, I'll show you for one in a minute. I've started to get loads of seeds in here. As you can see, I've started increasing my seed strength. These are all just one, one, one. I'm, I'm going to get rid of all these. What I've been doing is... I was just doing it like this. I was doing it... In fact, I won't even do it like this. I was just doing it with a single set of crops and then a double set of crops. So then I was getting... This was an increase over that. And then I've just watched Funshine X's video and he was doing a full row of 10. So I'm actually in the process of moving this into a full row of 10. There we go, that one's just upgraded. I'm going to get rid of them three. And I'm still doing, I'm in no massive rush to do these. What I'm going to do here, if I go like that, then this wheat seed which started off as a 447. See the iron whaler? It's going to gradually go along here and it's going to get improved all the time. When it gets to here, then I'm going to pick it up and. Uh, I scan the last one. So one of these pumpkin seeds is going to be better than the others. So we've got a 324. It's probably going to be that one. Yeah, see, that's a 323. So it went from 222 to 323 to 324. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to carry on with that one. The rest, I'm going to chuck into this compost bin. So I made the compost bin. We need it for a quest. Really straightforward. It's just a bit of wood. Some slabs and some sticks gets me that. And what that's doing, you see, it's processing this waste stuff and it's making me these compost balls, which is very nice. I'm going to keep that seed there. So at the minute, I'm just going to, I'm going to pull these ones back out of here for now because I want the space for actually doing these fair slots. So I'm going to do these next. I'm going to break all them potato ones. I'm going get to get the best one again. So it's either that one or this one. That's a four seven six. That is a four eight seven. So that's our best one. Four eight seven. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave a gap between these because I don't want these to crossbreed. I'll put that there. And when that's fully grown, it's got a chance to spread into that with better stats. So I can go like that. Come all the way down. I don't want these to get in the way. So I'm gonna pull them out of the way. Well, come all the way down. All this just cost is you, you lose one stick every time it spreads onto a cross stick. So that's all I'm losing here. And then I'm going to do the same. Oh, the water's going to be in the way for them. In fact, I'm about to do the next bit because the next bit we're going to have to actually have better, better soil. So there we go. There are just one, two ones, and that's not as good as what we've got either. I think I. It's a two, two, one. I think this wasn't better. See, that's a three, two, three, two. So they can go in there as well. As can there. You see, it's processing them, and once this gets full, what we're going to get in here is a completed compost ball. There we go. From Garden Core. So I've got a few of them now. I've got five of them, six of them even. So our quest is. I was just looking at the other quest we've got open. Uh, what the world. What's it? Life of the world. It's not that one. There's something I want to get into this though. I've noticed there's no cotton on here. And cotton you get from this one. These yellow things. If you look on cotton in the NEI. Cotton plant. So I need, I need a lot of string. I need a lot of wool. 
this guy. See there, dandelion seeds and barley seeds. So that, that's dandelion seeds, that's barley seeds. So if I get on with them, I could be able to get, I should be able to make cotton as well, which I don't think there's a quest for cotton. And that's what it looks like to me anyway, I'm not sure. But what I need to do with this is find the right quest. I think it's in our first one, isn't it? Uh, yes, there it is. So I've done the crafting task, and it's craft some garden soil, okay. So I mix it with dirt, I've got somewhat six bits of dirt. Combine that with them. So I get me garden soil. So there's our first part of our task. And then Oh, crafting the reward, okay. So that'll get me sixteen more of that compost. So I've got a nice amount of that compost now for which I can use to make garden soil. And I think what I want to be doing is replacing all this soil in here for garden soil. So what I'll do is yeah, I'll put these. Let's start along this back wall and uh, pick this dirt up. So yeah, I'm going to make a little bit of effort to get my crops, my current ones, up to 10, 10, 10 before I actually go on to... This can all be tilled, like so. Uh, make an effort to get these to 10, 10, 10. I think this makes it quicker. There is, of course, which I know from playing Pathfinder, there is, of course, in AgriCraft, there is these guys, the water tank, and uh, the irrigation channel. I could easily put one of them across here and get it pouring down onto this, but I'm going to hang on for a little bit until I see if I get a quest or not for that. I'd rather wait and see if I actually get a quest for it. Just out of curiosity as much as anything else. So yeah, I'll break these and I'll swap these. And uh, that is going to, I think, improve the improve the what I've got going here. Possibly improve the speed of growth. But certainly the water thing is, it would increase the growth speed. So I might have to look into getting that as well. Because I've got the wood for it and water's just water, isn't it? So that is how I've been sorting my crops out. Like I say, I am going to get... So yeah, I wonder how that works. Because that, that's on soil, not on, uh, on sand, not on soil. But hopefully that's going to spread along. Get me nice... Nice start, so we'll come back to that later on. Uh, for now, I'm just... Yeah, these ones, they're going to cause knobheads to come out of the... Come on then, knobheads. Let me get in the corner. Knobheads down. Sorry about that. So, that gets them out of the way. So, what we should have is just one of each of them kept to a side, mandrake, one, two, three, these are going really to wear some sharks, I think I'd already took the mandrake from that, one, one, two, yeah, one, 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 so they can all go towards making more of this stuff, and then the belladonnas, one, one, ones, and two, one, ones, so it looks like a two, one, one is the best we've got of them up to now, so that'll go back in, and oh there can go in there you see so it's pretty straightforward I think to get the processing going to uh, get the uh, stats built up and stuff so we are on the way with that so that's 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 cool and uh, let's have a look if this has opened up anything else ooh mycelium interesting some of the crops require special soils of their own akin to sugarcane requiring sand and essence crops requiring garden soil ah it's the essence crops that need the garden soil okay so I'm guessing I get some benefit from having the garden soil okay it might not actually make a difference then Okay, that garden soil might not make a difference on these basic plants, but for the essence plants, it certainly does make a difference. Let's get some essence plants. We need just one. We need wheat seeds, a bit of mana, and a mana pool. Let's take a basic wheat seed. I think it's going to make it basic anyway. Sling that in there, and we have got our first essence seed. Wonderful. And now we need to... Now that you've got the got the essence seeds, plant it onto crops to start growing essence dust. Essence seeds and all other essence producing crops must be grown on tilled garden soil. Right, okay, I understand. So, I need to get some essence dust. Does one of them come from each one? Or do I need multiple ones of these? 
And I guess these need to have their stats upgraded. Essence dust. Are you there? Is it you? Weak essence. Looks like weak essence is the smallest bit. Mm, no, it looks like regular essence is maybe the smallest bit. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back to that. But I, I need to plant some of them then, and that has to be on the tilled soil. So I've got some more of that in it. Ooh, mess. Oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. <laughs> uh, eh, eh, eh. So I presume this is going to spread in the same way. One can only presume. So there we go. We have got our first essence crops growing. And I'm going to leave them there. Hopefully that's going to spread along as well. Cool, we have got... No, no. Yeah, that's on... Is that on the good soil? Oh, it's the same to me. I think that's on the good soil, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, that hasn't spread yet. Okay. So we'll see if this actually might cause this issue. It might not spread properly. So I should have to check. Uh, right, I'll come back to that. So there's another quest we're on the way with. We're growing that one. And uh, I kind of want to concentrate on here for the time being. And uh, almost the mushroom spores are quite nice. Let me know to be able to grow. This infestation spores. Where do we get them? Some other crops require special soil. Okay. The one most worth noting is that mushroom spores require mycelium in order to be able to grow. This can be obtained by using infestation spores on dirt. So, infestation spores. Where do you come from? You come from a mushroom in a mana pool. That's easy enough. And uh, if you remember last episode, I'm sure I grabbed a mushroom. There's one mushroom there. Hopefully it doesn't have to be a red and white one. Let's have a look. If I'm out over that. Yep, we get a tick. We get an infestation spore. So there's the first part of that quest done. Claim reward. I get eight mycelium and some red mushroom spores. Thank you very much. So we've got them. So I'm going to need somewhere to plant them. I believe these need to be in the dark. Do you reckon? I reckon these might need to be in the dark. Speaking of dark, I should sleep. You can only sleep at night. Um, I'll leave them for now. I'll come back to that. Cause I'm not in a massive rush for mushrooms as far as I know. So we've got my mycelium. We've got mushrooms. Uh, we're waiting on that. Okay. And now this is open green thumb. Of course, garden soil doesn't only have applications in farming. You can plant flowers on it and carefully arrange them by using a garden trowel. Interesting. Right click on a block of garden soil to access the arrangement screen. Flowers and similar plants can be placed in the various slots to form a pretty arrangement of flora. How lovely. It's a craft a garden trowel. And that is, well, iron. You're not giving me a way to get iron yet, have you? Have you? Hmm. That just comes off that. Yeah, so that gives me the compost. And green thumb requires iron for a garden troll. Garden. Yep, it's the only garden troll there is. Okay, it looks like that is something I get to later then. So I'm guessing that's a quest that maybe wants to be. Uh, that maybe should have something saying that it's, I can't do it until iron's obtained. I don't know. But I am going to leave that then. So we that's as far as we can go with that. Uh, Rooney Coulter, should I make one of them now? I suppose I could. Gets me two mana pearls. Rooney Coulter then, let's jump into that. This should be pretty straightforward, I think. What do we need for this? Yep, we just need a mana pearl and some living wood, uh, living rock. Well, plenty of living rock. That's marble. We're not living rock at all. We have got plenty of living rock. One, two, three, four, five. And we have got two ender pearls, of which we are going to use one. What did I get that for? Oh, right, yeah, I can use that on dirt to make it into. Okay, I didn't actually need that because it gave me some. Right. Uh, I don't think there'll be enough mana left in this. We'll see, though. Oh, no, not enough. Okay, so we're down to not a great deal of mana left in that. So what I'm going to have to do is come and see if this better mana production has given us enough mana up to now. And it has. Wonderful. There we go. One mana pearl. 
We can now... I'm going to hit myself. Oh, no, I'm not. Wonderful. I can now craft this. Come on, there you As you can see, I was toying with making the water tank thing. I could craft there. One runic altar. Thank you very much. And that gets me more floral fertilizer and more mana pearl. Wonderful. And it's given us... Okay, clay for days. Written in stone. That's earth and that's... Is that a mana one? So written in stone. We have to craft all the runes. Okay. Well, these... Unless the recipes have changed. Let's have a look. Uh, rune of... These all need mana steel. Unless the recipe's changed. Yep, yeah, mana steel. So these all need iron. So it looks like I am... A lot of these use the ones that come before it. So our first one there that it's asking us to do is... Well, it's all of them, isn't it? It's all the basic ones. So the four basic ones are rune, uh, uh, water, fire, earth and air, so elements, plus mana. And then the next level is seasons, I think. So summer, autumn, autumn, winter and spring. And then the next ones are the seven deadly sins. That's the tier three ones. So we cannot make them until we get iron, I guess. So it looks like we are still kind of stuck here on on um, getting iron for that one as well. We can make the clay cone here, which is probably going to be useful. So we'll look at clay cone here. I think the most useful flower we could have at the minute actually is a jagged jagged amaranthus. Right, that needs a rune of earth, which I believe. Yeah, okay, we've kept all that out uh, Let's have a look at jaded. Jade Amaranthus needs, I'm sure it's going to need runes, needs a rune of spring. And a redstone root, so we need some redstone as well. So we can't do that yet. That gets you loads of flowers, you see. So that's a really useful thing to have. So it looks like we are not doing anything as yet with that. But we've got our rune of so that's all good. Never a bad thing. So we cannot do any more there. So that's that one and that one stuck. This one's pretty straightforward. We can make a bookcase. But does it have to be oak? Mmm. Let's make... So it's three slabs. Six bits of wood. Of course we're using spruce and not oak. If you remember, I, used, I did have a little bit of oak, but I used it to turn it into living stone. Living wood. Let me see if this is going to let us do it. By making a nice spruce bookcase. And seeing if it accepts that for the quest. It does. Wonderful. And now I need to craft myself a book binder. Okay. Book binder. Which is two bits of paper, two bits of string. And if you remember, I did make some paper. And I should have a little bit of string. I've got just enough. I need to get more string. Eh, eh, book brand it. What I think I can do with this is very cool. I think I can put all these books in it. Yeah, look at that. Put all them books in there. What about the quest book? Okay, and then I can just access. Can I access them while they're in there? Or do I have to take them out? I guess I have to take them out to actually access them. But, I can put all them books in there. Claim reward, bit of experience, 16 empty books. Can I put empty books in there as well? Let's have a look. I can put the dot stack. Good to know. Uh, I love that. In there. Keep that tidy. And we'll have a nice bookcase on the wall. Make this place look a little bit lived in. Um, by my bed. No, I don't like that. Don't want to break that, did it? Yeah, let's have it there. So can, that can go in there. There we go. So you have got potential to carry a massive amount of books in one bookcase using that. But bind that from Enchiridion. Uh, Enchiridion. Very nice. Another quest done. And that's opened up more stuff. Cool. Tool with knowledge. Making tools of complex craft. These tomes seem to contain knowledge on different materials and tool parts. As such, it would be prudent to collect them. So it's these are the Tinker's Construct books. The one we're missing is Mighty Smelting. We will get that when we make... I presume we will be asked to make a smeltery at some point. And you get that when you make your first 
your first what's it called the black stone that you use for smeltery uh, so we'll look tinkers Twenty-two pages of the damn stuff. Seared, seared in it. There we go. I think when you make your first seared brick using grout and stuff, you get that book. So we could mm, need clay. Don't really want to use my clay just for that. So we'll come back to that one. What else we got? Cartography basics. Ah, this is cool. So this, I believe, is this bibliocraft. This is not usually done. It's every bibliocraft's often in stuff. Bibliocraft is in this, yeah, and. It has got this really cool atlas feature that no one ever uses because all packs have maps. So we've got compass, flint tool rods, very nice, nice recipe change. Okay, and uh, we've got these atlases and stuff. And it's something I've always wanted to use. And because you've got a map in the corner, not most of the time you don't bother using it. But it's the fact that we're going to get a chance to use this, I'm quite happy about. So, is that no? So let's have a look how we make these flint tool rods then. So what do I need here then? I need an empty map, a map frame, and a drafting compass. So a drafting compass, flint sticks, flint tool rod. How make? How do I make you? I'm guessing uh, tool rod. You a tool rod? You're a tough tool rod. You a tool rod. You are. Tool rod in the part builder bit of flint gets me enough for two awesome so there's them and then a couple of sticks we should have in there there's them and it gets me my drafting compass very nice uh, that's not what I wanted that's a clipboard uh, can I make my clipboard I normally use for tasks, well, you don't really need tasks when you've got a when you've got a quest journal, do you? Uh, don't think I need a clipboard. Oak map frame. Now it's not going to be an oak map frame. Let's see if it takes a spruce map frame. For a map frame, you need a slab and sticks. Oh, it could be an oak map frame then, because we've got some oak slabs. So let's actually make it an oak one. Why not? Eh. Some of them. Let's be one of them. And our final thing we needed there was an empty map, which I think is going to need paper. One would think, empty map, uh, paper and a black dye. Okay, so let's get some of our sugar cane. Uh, no ink, but I have got black flowers. I'll use one of them. Uh, mortar and pestle, where have you gone? Where have you gone? There you are. Get a couple of these for some black dye. Easy enough. That should really be in there with them. So I'll make some paper. Bosch. Will come in handy. There we go. One empty map. And one completed quest. Sweet. That, oh, that's uh, witchery. Okay, witchery, herbology, we'll have a quick look at that, but we'll come back to that. Herbology just uses a stick to flowers and a black dye. Wonderful. You know what I've done? I've turned all the flowers into bloody dyes, haven't I? That's a pain in the balls. I'll have to get some more flowers. Unless it's any flowers, in which case I could just use two of them. Night time again, is it? The wolves let me know whenever it's night. Quite nice. Right, in fact, what I'm going to do, now a quick cut and see what I actually do with this. Because I've got no idea what I do with this. Uh, our next thing in there is, so I'll do that later, that book. Our next thing here is to actually make the atlas. So, what did that one say? You're getting sick of getting lost in this terrain which looks very much the same no matter which way you turn. Picking up the trade of cartography might prove a, might be a wise move. You can use maps to survey the area and when placed flat on a surface such as a frame, you can use a drafting compass to mark points of interest on them too. Pity these marks fade rapidly as the map folds. Mm. So I use a map. 
Sand in the middle of my base. Move the map. We've got a map there. And now we have place. Map for him. Place our map on it. Sweet. So my tree farm is south. There we go, we've got a little map of the base there. I can use a drafting compass on it, can you? So Boosh. Waypoint Base Camp. Except there we go, we've got a little marker. Oh look at that. Very nice. We've got a little pin in the board. Sweet, and then you can make a really big map if you so wish. And uh, that's very nice. Right, I'm going to cut for a little bit because I've got something real life to do. Back soon. And back after about an hour and I've just got some bone meal out and bone meal the ground a few times and as you can see over here I've got a nice little dandelion which I'm about to pick up as well as a few other bonus materials from that. So we've got a nice dandelion and now I can combine that. Thank you. With that, I've got my witchcraft book. So let's have a look at the quest for that before we start. Mutandis seems to produce many different plants. Maybe there's a tome which can tell you about them. Okay, nice and easy. And that is going to get me that ah, lovely claim reward. Essence of Nature, a book, and some experience. Very nice. So, what kind of essence of nature then? Essence of nature. I can make moss stone, a lily pad, some vines. Some of my sell them. Hmm. Okay. Can shapely craft it, shapeless craft it into magical crops. Uh, magical fertilizer, I mean. Very nice. Use it in the altar. To get a great wood sapling. Wow. Very nice. And silver wood saplings. I like that. That's a nice solution towards getting them things. Uh, we'll keep that then. Uh, keep that over there for now. And I just need to tell my inventory again in a minute. We'll get back in there in a minute because I just I just stayed online and just AFK, so we've got some stuff in there I can grab. There's some way of automating this at some point. Golems perhaps. And uh oh man. Stuff everywhere. There is stuff everywhere. You in there. You in oh, you in there. And I suppose we should carry on and do the other quest in here that we had open which was this one again pretty straightforward the atlas can combine maps in it for that we need a slotted book which is a book and a label so I made a label all the label is is six slabs combine that with a book okay, this is a slotted book and then what do we need we needed some paper a map and our compass yeah, which we have all of those from making the first bit gets us an atlas. Awesome. I think I believe what you can do with an atlas is you can take maps. I want to pick you up off the wall. Uh, do I go shift right click empty hand? No. I'll break you. Guess I'll break you. Okay and with my atlas I believe I can slot you into somewhere. Auto center, auto create. Hmm. Well, I don't know how that works. Oh, okay. Aha! So, Frank's going there, and as I go further out, I believe then more maps would go into that and I can move around in them there. So, zoom level 1, and zoom further in. I've zoomed further out there, haven't I? So we can see what I'm covering there. Excellent. So I guess as I, as I range further out, it would actually... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> I've checked the Bibliocraft I guess this is my main map, so I will be using it. So I'll be checking the Bibliocraft forum page, uh, wiki, to see how that works a bit more. Well, that's very awesome. Let's have a look at our uh, Herbology book, see what the crack is. 
Many common plants are used in the preparation of brews and magics. This book details those rare or exceptional plants not known to the common folk. So Belladonna, Ember Moss, Glintweed, Mandrake, Snowbell, Spanish Moss, Wild Bramble, Ender Bramble, Void Bramble, Water Artichoke, Grass Bear, Great Sail, Blood Poppy, Wispy Cotton, Wolfsbane, Garlic, Alder Sapling, Alphon Sapling, Rowan Sapling, all of the witchery stuff. Very nice. I'm going go in there for now. I don't think we'll get into that just yet. Book cannot go in that bookcase, but it can go in there. And that can go back in there. Now, keep my atlas on me. And now we can have a look in here. Uh, I don't want that or that. Some of these make Minecraft dies, like that one. Some of them do not they make their own dies. So I was chucking them in there, I'm keeping the Minecraft dies in case we need them for something. I'll probably end up with Britannia dies anyway, though. So not a big deal. And for now, you can go in there. And uh, you can go in there. And that is full. Okay. So, because I was AFK, we have got these have spread right the way across. Remember, I started there with a 654. So, what we should get over here, if I break that, we should get a nice seed to analyze. And it's a 1079. Wonderful. So, what I can do is, if I was to break, in fact, I want to place that one down first. I'm going to need some more. Some more crops, sticks. Place that one on first and then break all these across it. It's going to give me a certain amount of sugar cane. 25, in fact. Oh man, looks like he's right inside my house. Oh. Let me deal with this. Bloody wolves. Uh, I went for a run with my map. So have a look at round stuff. And I had this on auto center and auto create, so it actually used up the map setting here. So these two here are actually zoomed in ones. So let's uh let's go to zoom zoom level one. So that's one there. If I come this way, what you see if I look in the map. So it's got that red line. Shows you which way it joins onto the next one there. So if I come this way, you're gonna see it joins onto that one next to it. Very nice. So that's our zoom in at that level. And I didn't have actually any more maps on me. If we come out to Level three, that's these two here. So we've come back in now. You see these two join top and bottom, and that's one that's zoomed out. So that's pretty cool. If I come down there, in fact, what I want, what I want to do now, is see if I can take them back out and put them on the wall. So let's get that oak mat frame again. How do I make that? Uh, oh yeah, slab and sticks. Slab, sticks. I just kill the wolf. And it hit me once and did like two hearts of damage, so the armor makes it knocks it down to two hearts of damage. Whereas before they was hit me for like five or six hearts, weren't they? They was making a mess of me before. So now if I got this, will this work? So one above the other. Let's take them two over there. And uh put the top one and then the bottom one. There we go, you can see that I'm on either an island or a peninsula. And at some point I have to get a boat out and fill the rest of the map in. And make this bigger. There we go, that's uh So you can run around making the maps and you can put them into your thing there. So you do actually you do actually need a mini map. I've always liked this. It's some part of Bibliocraft I've always wanted to look at and never got wrong to because when you've got when you've always got a mini map, it's something that you don't really care about, innit? But I like the fact that this mod pack does not have a mini map. I sorted these out so that was a 1079 so that's going to spread along there should be a 10 10 10 by there then once once you've got them to 10 10 10 what you can do instead of having crops next to them cross crops just have normal ones and it'll spread to normal ones either side of it i've done the same with the essence ones here that's up to a 222 as you can see on where they're there and then my wheat is up to 9 7 10 and my potatoes is up to 7 10 10 so i'm just letting them go like halfway down again like that to get them to 10, 10, 10, and I've started doing the carrots. So then I shall start doing more crossbreeding off camera once I've got these up to the level that I want them at. I'm getting plenty of this compost, which I can of course grab and combine with dirt and mean no, I've not got enough. Combine with dirt to make more of that tilled uh, that garden soil. So I can gradually make that entire thing in there, all garden soil, and I'm getting loads of crops as well. Like 68 potatoes, two stacks of 
wheat. So that's all good. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see what we can hand in then. So I can hand this in, the map one. We can get more experience and four more empty maps. So I'll put empty maps in there. So we're at zoom level one now. If I was to go north, west or south on that level, then it would create a map. If oh no. One's on level three. If I was to put yeah, okay, what I need to do is take these back out of here for now. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. If I was to take them back out I can then start making that map bigger. I'll do that off camera between episodes. I'll leave that in there just for now. Uh, if I make another compass, I can make maps on the map while I'm while I've got the compass the map, the atlas open as well, which is also very nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, you can stay in there. I'll deal with that off camera as well, between episodes. And uh, has that opened up anything new? No, so I've got nothing new in this. Uh, I can make up that one, but I believe I get that one free anyway. Mighty smelting, like I said. When we get to make a smeltery, which I don't know if the quest will give us, so we'll ignore that. And I think I can come back now to here. Yep, yeah, because we have got our this one, we've got our essence dust, I've got, as you see, I had four of them in my inventory from when I picked up those crops there that I had, which means I get another ender pearl, nice, and I get more seeds, which I presume will just be one, 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 ones, because they're just going to be, yeah, they're just going to be standard ones, so I'll probably just get rid of them and uh, improve them using that method. Oh, they are the same type, aren't they? Oh, it's too late. No, is it? Edge. Assessing seeds, magical. I think they're the same thing, aren't they? I'm fairly sure they're the same thing. I'll double check that as well. Just to make sure I'm not throwing anything away that I shouldn't be. And that has opened us up some new stuff. So I've got natural nuances. A number of useful plants are proven troublesome to obtain. You wondered if you could employ essence to create these, but a synthetic means of doing so evades you. Maybe you might manage it by breeding crops. So I need to breed nature seeds. Right, so I get lily pads and mushrooms. Nature seeds, these are new to me. Nature seeds, uh, sugar cane and essence seeds on soil, that's easy enough. Sugar cane and essence seeds on soil. Excellent. So I'll wait until they're at 10 tens before I start doing that. That's a breeding thing. And I believe we had another quest. No, that's not open yet. Okay. So that is something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap, wrap up this episode there. I think it's uh, about time. Yeah, I think about nearly about 40 odd minutes. So witchcraft. Cool. How the world changes looks like witchcraft. Small risk permeate the world around you. Found what's nice. Witchcraft. Life back into the world, that's... Oh, look at that, awesome. Got all this stuff opened up. I have to find an egg. Feathers can be a very useful resource, and eggs might just be the basis you need to bring back other forms of life. Next stop, chickens! How the hell do I get an egg? Can I craft an egg? craft an egg. Very cool. I can craft eggs. Nice one. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, I hope you stick with me to see what's up next. I should get a lot of this. A lot of the seeds I've already get, got. I'm going to try and get to 10, 10, 10 before I start the next episode. And uh, I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.